event type errors within Sentry are things that we've covered in these issue alerts, but we're also able to add additional signals to our alerting strategy that might be better indicators of our end users' experience with our product. And what I want to focus on now is creating alerts based on session data. Perhaps we can layer in uh, a reduction in crash free session rate as a, another signal within sort of the multiple dimensions that we're trying to set up um, in our alerting strategy here as we build out the baseline. So Sentry collects session data. Uh, most or a lot of Sentry SDKs will collect session data. So you can think of this as an individual opening up a mobile application and then closing it or sending it to the background or a particular point of time in a page load for a front end project. But Sentry is going to keep track of errors, crashes, and abnormalities during these sessions and provide you with that data and also provide you with options for alerting based on that data. So now we can add or select crash free session rate as an option. And I wanted to highlight one thing really quick after I take a drink. That now we sort of shifted from issue alerting into metric alerting. So again, issues were grouped into events, issues can have associated states. Now we're moving into more of aggregates of other Sentry data types. So in this case, we're talking about session data, which we just briefly described. So you'll get a nice historical trend or just time series when you're setting up uh, metric alerts and you can specify an environment that you're interested in. You can also specify a release if you're really specific or if you're really interested in looking the, at the crash free session rate for a particular re release during a rollout, perhaps you can specify that here. You can get really specific with metric alerts, um, incorporating tag values as well. So we'll touch on tag values a little bit later too within your alerting strategy. But for now, we're going to keep it straightforward and say, okay, production, we want to look at the crash free session rate over a period of, or sorry, a shifting window of an hour that gets evaluated every minute. And then we'll sort of specify a threshold here that you know, our team has deemed appropriate um, for sending a critical alert. So in this case, I mean, we're gonna get alerted a lot if we, if we send 97%, but this is just an example of a threshold you could choose. You can also choose a warning threshold um, as well, if that's something that you're interested in specifying too. And then you can perform actions. Again, we're coming back, I don't wanna you know, really drill this topic, but we're always sort of thinking about actionability here and modalities. So your modality choices are definitely going to impact um, perhaps the effectiveness of alerts. I'm, perhaps some folks opened up their alerting for a particular project and noticed that they're just alerting on new issues and sending emails to their team. And perhaps, you know, over time, these emails build up, they become less effective. So like really being conscious about your modality, um, it's gonna help alerts down the road, help them be more effective for your team. And I will say that we do have some newer options for issue alerting and channeling certain historic emails into Slack now. Uh, so perhaps we can explore, explore some of those more in depth later. But again, modality choice is important when you're building out you know, your baseline for visibility here. So we could send an email to a team uh, or a member of a team or a particular team um, if that is sort of the best approach for the current state of the team and their triaging process. Or again, we can lean on our many integrations. I've been talking a lot about Slack, but there are others, Microsoft Teams, PagerDuty, I believe Ops Genie as well. Um, in this case, we're going to go back to, to my demo workspace and you, know, you could add in whatever channel you see fit here. Um, I don't know if I have a specific channel that might be relevant for this. So maybe I'll send it to a general channel for now. But obviously, you'd want to have a channel dedicated to, um, you know, decreases in this crash free session rate. Name the rule. Um, we'll just call it crash free sessions. And of course, assign a team responsible for the rule, and you can save it. 